Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. My wife's in the hot tub, it's on 40 degrees, so I've got just enough time to do a beer review. Didn't I time that right? So, today, um, I ordered yesterday from adventurebeer.com a new beer haul. So that video will precede this one. And from that beer haul, I've got this little fella from the Liquid Light Brewing Company and sad to say, as someone who is from Nottingham, drinks in Nottingham, but not as much as I used to to be fair, um, this is, a, you know, I've heard about them for the last few months to be fair, um, it's funny how you've got breweries on your doorstep, little micro breweries on your doorstep and you don't know them, how bad is that? And if there's anything that brewing, uh, sorry, reviewing beers has learnt me, that there's a hell of a lot next to you, next to you, that you would never know of. So, adventurebeer.com, you know, I've said it before, I love their business model because they do the legwork, you get the beers at a price that's pretty much the same as what you pay in the shop anyway, and you get to try new beers. And I ordered this at Sunday afternoon at 6 o'clock ish. It was delivered by four, at 4 o'clock on Monday afternoon. That is some extreme service. And now these fellas, Liquid Light, based on in Snenton Boulevard, 2.8 miles that way from me. Not far away. Let's crack this open. So this is Spaceball Ricochet, a New England Pale. So, if you don't know about new, uh, Liquid Light, and to be honest, sad as it is, I didn't, and they're on my doorstep, so that's not good on me, is it, really? Oh, definitely getting the aroma, and that's from a foot away, right? There you go, hazy pour, big white head, and uh, I'm shit at it. I'm crap at um, pouring, so you have to apologise. But anyway, it gives us a bit more time for a bit of chat. So, we are Liquid Light Brewing Company, it says. We were founded in September 2017, and it's funny because it's about that time I start I stopped really going boozing in town. Uh, we've not gone boozing. It's two or three years since we had a good booze up in town. Um, after years of experience home brewing it and working in other breweries, we decided it was time to start our own, combining our two biggest passions: craft beer and music. And fair play, isn't it amazing that a lot of the people who've gone from uh, into the world of microbrewing or well, from a home brewing background they're not all master degree brewers and all this they've actually come from that background and that to me is great you know um, people who love what they do and that's how it should be so they've got their core range is into the void a coffee porter at 5.6% Pink Moon, um, a raspberry wheat beer at 4% and on the website it actually gives you quite um, a description of what they're like as well. You've got Less Dangerous, a Session New England IPA, New England Indie Pale Ale at 4.5%. You've got with the lights out another NEIPA at six percent. Seasonal specials include Cosmic Debris, a Blackberry Ghost at five percent. Now, I personally would love to see these. Do what um, Lincoln Green Brewing Company are doing, another close company to to me, and putting seasonals in cans, bottles, even. Doing, going the draft route um, and having one litre containers and pour it into the containers, yeah it's a bit of a thing but you're selling two bottles at a time so if it's three or four quid it's eight quid's worth of sales. Always a thing to think about. Freak out a watermelon sour, that does sound nice. Electric machine, an IPA at 6.5%. Marmalade skies, an orange saison at 6%. Return trip and IPA at 5.5%. People are strange. Hey, I know that. Try working with Averett for a year. I'm leaving in a day or two's time though, so it's not special. 
uh, IPA at 5.1%. Peaches on Regalia. And it's a peach and hibiscus whip beer. Day Tripper, a pale ale collaboration at 4.3%. Collaboration brews, uh, Liquid Light and Yonder Cross Donzolia. Crimson King, and it's a continental red at 5%. Evelyn Your IPA, a tropical 7 up New England IPA. Interstellar Hyperdrive, ooh, you know. If this was at Robin Hood Beer Festival last year, I've had this. It's an Imperial Rum and Raisin Porter at 12%. I remember having a 12% Porter Rum and Raisin last year at the Robin Hood Beer Festival. And it was bloody lovely too. Uh, they've got DDH IPA, which is them and Liquid Light and Wildcard Brewery. I've brewed, I've, um, I've reviewed one of theirs before. Laser Blast, a dry hot kettle sour. And obviously it goes on and on, you know. So, um, enter site. Yep. Let's have a look at the shop. Here we go. So, we're already six minutes in. I do apologise. If you've come to this channel looking for short reviews, I'm sorry, but I don't do short reviews. Like a good beer in a pub. You know, if your review is four minutes long, then you might enjoy that beer. You've sucked it, job's good and out to the next pub. So, lovely colour to it. Tropical nose straight away, described as a pale, New England pale. Nice tropical aroma. I've just got the email saying my, my adventure beer order has been delivered. Bless him. But he's a good bloke. For some reason, for some reason I clicked on shop and I, and I clicked back off it for some strange reason. So they do national orders, they do local orders. And quite a few kegs. See for me, being I like to review stuff so I don't want anything in a keg. And actually, Rick, Spaceball Ricochet is actually out of, is sold out on their store. No, it's not letting me. It's it's not playing well for me. So no, let's turn that off then. So yeah, based in Snanton, you would have thought. And that Imperial Woman Raisin Porter, I've got got to get my bloody hands on them. To pine to that for review purposes. I'll have a look on the computer lately, uh, later. And like I say, you know, businesses doing, putting their seasonals, whatever, putting all their beers into cans and bottles is an exceptional way to go. Doing mixed boxes with a glass from that particular brewery. It's, it's the way forward, especially in these strange times that we're having. So, Sun's out, got a nice tropical bay in front of me, tasting good. What more can you want? Bags are tasting that as well. Now it says there's hints of coconut. Let's see if I can get that. It's stone fruit. It's the coconut element that made me choose this one over the other liquid light one that's on adventurebeer.com definitely getting all the tropical elements I'm just not getting the uh, coconut just yet well I've gotten to the end of the glass so yeah keep, keep going don't you So you know, Nottingham can't, Nottingham's obviously the same as many other cities where 
there are breweries you've not had a beer from, you've not heard of. And in these times where local businesses need to be supported, especially as it is at the moment, and if you've got the pennies obviously, because not all of us have got the, the pennies to go there, but discovering beers like this, this is an absolute cracker of a beer. And uh, 4.8% so is a nice strength. I'm still looking, I'm still thinking about that woman raising porter. I bloody had that last year. Because I went round up in a beer festival. And if anybody from Liquid Light watches this video, please comment or even email me. Just to tell me if you if it was at last year's Robin Hood Beer Festival. So Right. The only problem is, I can't remember where the bar was. I'm sure it was in the main hall. It's funny now, I look at some of the breweries in here, and they're all very familiar to me now. Um, local breweries, that is. And yet last year, um, a lot of these breweries I, I've not really heard of, not really drank from. And, uh, you know, it's, it's great. It's great to actually... ...be able to say, oh yeah, I drank, I drank your beer. Just quickly trying to find if it was on last year's. And a lot, a lot of the breweries were there last year. A lot of the Nottingham breweries were. I swear it was on the brewery in the middle of the hall. And yes, yeah, so many breweries that I actually know now. No, I can't find it. Sod it. But yeah. So anyway, back to this beer. It's sold out at the moment, that doesn't mean Adventure Beer still have some, so keep that in mind if you can't get it from the actual brewery website. Um, around about four quid. Not bad for what it is. And one thing to always remember is little breweries can't do supermarket prices. Big breweries can because they can produce it in mega stock and obviously the supermarkets um, will buy it in mega amounts to bring the price down just in case you're not happy about paying a certain price. I mean we all want stuff cheap, that's just us in life isn't it but to support your local stuff you know you have to pay more unfortunately. I mean I paid £6.50 for a for a pint of strawberry milk, strawberry milkshake, alcoholic strawberry milkshake, from um, Lincoln Chipotle on Mansfield Road before in Nottingham, six pound fifty a pint. Still not getting that coconut, unfortunately. Not got it yet. And we're nearing the end of the, my adventure. No, that's uh, that's annoying. But you know, sometimes you can't get every flavour, and um, it's nice to be given the hint. But, you know, what it is is a fantastic. Easy golden pour with a big head. It took some time to dissipate. Tropical aromas, tropical flavour, and a quite a nice drink. Went down really well. And uh, for my first beer that I've actually know that I've drank from these, first one out of a can, shall we say. 
and not from a beer festival. Because I'm sure I've had that. That tub, that woman raisin from the beer festival. Sure I have. I'll have a pop up later. Um, a very nice beer. Uh, good aroma, good taste, and uh, went down well. Is there anything more you could add? No, not really. Um, and from Snenton as well, which isn't too far away from me. Uh, you know, less than three miles. Ten minutes in the car, so not far at all. Out of five then. 4.4 out of 5. Lovely. Went down a treat. And now, the hot tub calls me. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers. And as always, thank you everybody for watching, subscribing and commenting. I do try and reply to the comments these days. I'm getting better. Slowly but surely. But don't call me surely.